another episode of Hot Girl Aloha. So I'm Natasha. This is Jamie, and we have someone very new here. Mm-hmm. Please introduce yourself. So uh, I'm Walter. So yeah. I'll be <laughs> I'll be a guest in this episode to you know like maybe give some thoughts and views um from a guy's point of view. So um, but all the challenges, 还是这两个美女在做，我没有在做。What what what? Alexis. Yeah, correct. So today we are at Miami Hotel. As you can see, it's actually a five-star boutique hotel, and it's very different from all the other hotels that I've personally been to. I heard that this hotel is also like the first hotel in Singapore, right? That has an infinity pool. Like we all thought the MBS is the first hotel with infinity pool, right? Very good. Yeah, this is a pioneer. Usually, I was a bit like. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> then we went to Google to CSI, CSI. Yeah, yeah. Then we found out that this is really like the OG Infinity Pool. Yeah. So if you want to make the best out of staycation, Naomi Hotel is the one because they have a 33-hour staycation package. Yeah. Which is actually very convenient for you to stay overnight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
bathtub and it's very luxe like the design of the bathtub itself is very very luxe also when I was like exploring the bathtub the bathroom just now right I realised that the bathroom itself has a function where you can actually choose whether you want the glass panel to be seen or not seen yeah it's called the magic glass my room okay one thing um, very interesting that I noted just now is that the room number is on the floor so just now um, the manager was like showing us around and then I was like where's the room number because he's like looking here and he's like oh this is your room 307 and I was like where's the 307 it's on the floor very interesting right okay let's go so this is the Andy Warhol designer room very very luxe looking so this is the bathtub it is um, very interesting because it's like a circular bathtub which is um actually this is the first time i've seen like a circular bathtub let me show you how this uh, this door works so basically right this is a, a door and then um behind this door there's a shower so when you close the shower the doors somebody one person can shower and one person can soak you can see that there's a lot of like very artistic elements in this room it's actually a photo on the frame Actually, when I first came in, right, I thought it was like New York City or something. But on closer look, right, it's actually our CBD skyline. You can see like Singtel or CBC. You might have seen this. This is like my favorite part of like the entire room because it's like so quirky. Uh, so when I was sitting here just now, right, I went to go and Google about this chair, and uh, apparently it's like limited edition. It's designed by um, this like Italian designer called um, Gaetano Pesho. Yeah. And out of curiosity, right, I went to find out how much it costs. <laughs> Can say not? <laughs> okay, it actually costs around like 9 k which is like very impressive. And okay, it's so interesting because like this is a foot rest <laughs> and it's connected to the original chair, which is like really interesting. Uh. So if your legs are super long, then you can like push further, but my legs are short, uh, so it will be here. This part of the, the room that I really like is like this little um, art like frames that we have here. Also look right, you can actually see it's little elements and you know photos of Singapore that is like being pieced together. One thing I like about Naomi is that they have like very uh, playful like whoa <laughs> oh my god playful like taglines all around like peppered around the room. Like you say it says uh, spare me and then like the console says like turn me on. Okay, so this is totally unplanned. I didn't wait here for them. Anyway, uh, we have a challenge for you girls. This is um, $10. Free money. Free money. Free money. Money, like money doesn't come so easy, oh, right, girls. So I'll give them a challenge card. You have a $10 budget to find a piece of clothing from Boogie Street. Top, bottom, dress, or wrong. Uh, we're now at Boogie Street, which is like a hot spot for buying um, clothes like accessories, uh, fashion items, as well as souvenirs. It's about a 3 to 5 minutes walk from our hotel and 2 minutes from MRT. We're gonna make the challenge a little bit more interesting. Yeah. The idea here, the, the bigger challenge here is to find pieces that cost $10 and are uh, super high fetch. High fetch? <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Uh, my strategy is her because I guess like a lot of things in Bugis are pretty similar to each other. You just have to like try to catch like a, a store owner who is a little bit more, you know, lag so that they can give you like discount. Let's go. Not bad. Okay, I need to explore more options first before I settle on my final piece. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get 10 dollars. So while the girls are you know like busy hunting for their ten dollars challenge, I'm here at this creek store. It's at level two of Bugis Street. Oh, so crispy. Hmm, black bar. Black right. Yeah, black loose. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is how much? Very nice. Very nice. Can you? Yeah. We did it. So now we are going to give them a second challenge, um, ladies. Okay, to purchase spicy noodles or mala of yeah. three different spicy levels, two oh days test for all, and the first person who drinks water will lose the challenge. Yeah, I'm going to lose. <laughs> do, do you all take spicy food? Huh? Yeah, I do, but like yeah, my spicy food is not that good. Yeah. I do, but like, I, I will set a lot. Yeah. Anyway, now we are at the Jingjing Jing Shi. 
That's your Chinese <laughs> taste is good. <laughs> For a moment he got stuck. But Simon is like, yeah. I love you this place so much. We are back in our room and we just tap out this from the Ting Ting um, restaurant. Yeah. This is the yeah, Suan so La <laughs> You're so scared. <laughs> yes, and this is the Tan Tan Noodle and this one is the Bei Tang Pen. Yeah. So basically, it's, I think it's like um, pig's intestine. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is, it is uh, the big intestine uh, with uh, fat vermicelli. Yeah. Mm. You get for them to see. Pig's skills are not oh. there. Oh, then. <laughs> Okay, like no kick eh? Yeah, like okay only. Really. No, I, I say you. <laughs> <laughs> not me. So right now, producers have decided that it's not spicy enough for us because it's like more enjoyable than like a challenge. So yeah. we, have, we have an update to our challenge which is to answer as many questions as possible while we are eating and the person who answers the least will lose. 50 divided by 5 plus 6 minus 5. <laughs> who is first? 11? Wow, you can fast yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Producer feels very, very intimidated by, by how fast it is. Two times five plus six minus two. Huh? That's it. Fourteen. <laughs> Sally is fifty-four years old. Her mother is eighty. How many years ago was Sally's mother three times her age? Oh my god, can I just end your guess? <laughs> Are you seriously working it out? Yeah. I, I don't feel like working it, my brain is not working anymore. Is it, is it 41? But how many years ago like? Is so which means 41? it's 39. Yeah, correct. Really? <laughs> correct, oh my god. goodies <laughs> <laughs> here. We use $10 each yeah. to buy these items. One, two, three. It's a crop top that I can make into a shirt or oh, what? I tell you what's the, what's the funny thing? You can open. Ta-da! Ta-da! Like I got a linen top. Oh nice! Yeah, we managed to bargain. Oh, this is so versatile. $10. Oh really? Yeah. Do you like bargain for it? Yeah, but oh, it smells very healthy. Very <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, it's very cheap like, for like a linen. <laughs> okay, challenge 3. Transfer as many corns from one bowl to another within 2 minutes while answering rapid questions simultaneously. The person who transfers the most number of corns and gets the most number of questions right wins the challenge. Now snacks today are sponsored by... Snacks! snacks. So they are actually very like healthy alternatives to your regular snacks and they are made with corn, corn. kernels. Yeah. It has a uh, pepper and lemon. What's yours? Sour cream and onion. Ooh. Oh, I've got sea salt. My favorite cheap flavor. And Mediterranean herbs. Ooh. Wow, sounds so exotic. Nice. Wow, a bit ambitious. Do you think that we can get so many? <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah! No, okay, what, what is your favorite workout machine in the gym? Oh my god, the uh, squat rack. Uh, <laughs> power rack also. Would yeah. you say you are extrovert or introvert? I think I'm a mix of both. But I lean more towards extrovert. I'm definitely an introvert. I always like find that if there's too many people or like too many people time in the day, I just cannot take it. I just want to go back home and mm. lie down. Oh my god, I'm very tic Okay, which is the I first country that you will visit after the restriction has been lifted? I think Korea. I haven't been there in a while. I'll go Taiwan probably. Ooh. Yeah, I really miss the food there, and the climate Which and everything. Been there. Oh, you've never been there? Yeah, that's like one of the countries. Oh. No! No! no. <laughs> Jamie been already. <laughs> really? I don't know, mine looks there already. Eh? No! Two, three. 67. 63. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, she won! The snack team has very kindly sponsored three bundles for us to give away to you guys. It, and each bundle has four flavors inside, like four bags inside. And how you can stand a chance to win this bundle would be to comment down below in the comment box and tell us what is your favorite activity to do while snacking. Mm -hmm. And also remember to subscribe to stand a chance to win as well. <laughs> I'm um, back at this very special segment. Um, we are actually back at the rooftop place at Naomi Hotel and look at the view. Oh, it's pretty really amazing, cool. right? And now it's about like 5.15 pm and I think they have something special that Jamie can share about. Actually, just now I found out that they have something called the Instagram Butler. There will be a very kind butler who will help you take photos around in the hotel in its picture worthy spots, which is very picture worthy for Instagram. It's like just to up your Instagram game, you know? Hi guys, so we have someone very exciting to introduce to you guys. 
someone who will free up my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be waiting for yeah. the day, right? Um, hi, my name is Shane. So I currently work at the front office reception. So I'm here to show you around the artwork and hopefully take some pretty photos for you. Yes, <laughs> yes. But let's pretend like we are part of a boy band. Okay. That's one of the beats. <laughs> Actually, we should do all same direction. It's quite funny. Yeah. Okay, ready? One, one two, three. Oh, Here. I get it. I get it. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Jane. You. <laughs> so Bye. now um we will wash up and then yeah wash up. Yeah, wash up. A new challenge. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. We are at the Cloud 9 bar today and it's a perfect place for intimate parties, uh, solemnizations and also you know just for you to have a little drink afterwards. So we have a challenge here. Yes, we have um, Natasha, maybe our pastor challenge okay. card. The challenge is pay attention to the bartender creating Cloud 9's signature cocktail and recreate it. <gasps> we are gonna be bartenders today. <laughs> oh my god. Must now the ingredients we're gonna use today would be a rebel yaw golden vodka. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will inherit the vanilla. Oak and leather flavors into it, together with a uh, Earl Grey infused syrup or wow. some lemon juice. Wow. Okay, and of course a uh, little bit of lemon to balance out the acidity. First, I'm putting the whiskey, and if I remember correctly, it's 30 ml. All the Earl Grey syrup, is 15. 15 is this side right? Okay, wait, wait. No help line. No help line. <laughs> no, okay, I know already. Okay, okay, 15 is here. 15 is here. Hey, like that is not fair. That y'all can watch me and this, like remember again. Oh, scary leh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so hard. Eh, I forgot something. I forgot to put the ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tada! Eh, why is my thing like that? But it's useless lah. Oh, useless, useless. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay, I help you lah. Is this one? Is this one? Okay, okay. You help me. I remember. Okay. This one, the ugly. And now you can go first. <laughs> You forget already, you forget already. Juice is how much? It's three but times. But you have to put this one first, yeah. no man, it's ten. What is this? I'm carrying the weight. So you know like, this is a form of art. You gotta entertain the customers. Wow, you look super good leh. How's your day? How's your day going? Hey, good? Yeah, we'll replicate. One. Halfway. Something and, uh, tells me that I did something wrong. I miss the customer complaining already. Huh, you see? The strainer. Okay. Okay. I think. Oh, look at mine. The one in the middle. Oh, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> but but sweet, but sweet fair because the drinks are used to make way in advance, so it doesn't yeah. go up as well. It's understandable. Which is why when you serve a drink, when you make a drink, you be serve and drink as soon as it's ready. Because at the time, the ice, the the milk, the drinks are being carried. Right. Okay. Let me do a taste test as well. All right. Well, feel stressed, yeah, like maybe yeah. years of experience is going to critique our cocktail drinks. Yeah. Proportion, it's all correct. Okay, but then because it didn't shake hard enough, so you see, you see when I compare to the sample drink, you see there's actually foam. Oh. There's a certain more feel to it. So yours become very light, just orange, without all the mm. aeration in the drink. So in that aspect, not as good. Alright, but overall, you got, it, you got it right, just the way you shake it, all that can be improved on. But this, unfortunately, it might. Maybe I'm not one to judge, but as this drink itself is really a very light drink, just 30 ml of alcohol, there's a little bit too much uh, orange juice okay. and not enough alcohol, so you can't really taste the, the vanilla, the oak flavor coming out from it. So it becomes very much like orange uh, orange juice with a grey and a bit. Yeah, I mean it's still a nice drink, but subjectively it depends on whether you're looking for more complex flavors or we are looking at something that's very light. So nothing wrong with this as well. Still, it's really good. <laughs> well, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She did very well for the first try. In the end, she did get everything correct. Just that the ice um, took a while to prepare the drinks. So by the time the drink actually went into the end, it's really very diluted when you the ice was in there. It's long. By the time it's drained out, it's long. So the flavors start to reduce itself over time. But if you did it quick and fast enough, actually this would be the winner. Oh. Oh. 
So overall, everyone is a winner today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah always, yes. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. So we've come to the end of the cocktail making um, experience. So what do you, what, how do you feel? Uh, what do you have to say as the winner of the challenge? I didn't win. I didn't win. <laughs> Not really. Why? It was a great yeah. experience. I think very interesting. Like so far, I've only ever like was like happy or so. So yeah, I think I'm not very suitable for this job. <laughs> but but, but <laughs> I I think I'll be like better off as the taste tester. <laughs> taste tester. <laughs> I would recommend uh, people come up to the bar here to have a sunset mm. drink. Um, it's yep, called Cloud Nine. Very light it's called and the nice. Cloud Nine signature. Yeah. And um, let us know what they think of the drink. It's a nice drink for OOTD photos. Like <laughs> I mean, feature, chat, feature. Chat, sorry. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll we do the see room you guys review. tomorrow when we do the room review and also have breakfast that we are really excited. To yeah. Try. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go breakfast. Yeah. Okay, yay! Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Aloha! <laughs> Have your breakfast! Yes! Yeah. What's yours? Uh, English <laughs> breakfast! English breakfast, you all got an English breakfast. So we have come to the end of our 3 day 2 night hotel stay. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I think overall, like, it's definitely a hotel with like very great hospitality. Mm. Was, I mean, when we were, when we just came in, right? The manager, you know, came oh, out to yeah, yeah, Faisal. Yeah, it's a, yeah, Faisal came out. I think it was quite a nice touch. Like, yeah. I mean, they show like how important the guests. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, they feel special, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I really like that it takes on a very different uh, look than um, as I mean, as compared to a lot of other hotels there. Mm. It's a very pop art dish. Mm. It's very unique. It also serves as like a great like photo shoot um, location. Yeah. yeah, it's not like your usual like hotel where oh it's just bed and everything. Visually, it's very appealing like, I would say the bathtub is just very unique like It's like it's a round um, bathtub and I really like just really relax and wine with like some bathtub time. Something special about this hotel is that their bed right they actually give you bolsters. So it caters to like Asian crowd cause like Oh yeah Yeah, for yeah actually a lot of hotels like, they don't give bolsters Yeah or. because in uh, western countries they actually don't have bolsters That's oh. why Yeah so I think it's a very nice touch to it mm -hmm. And I like that the hotel has a lot of different elements and plants even So it makes the room <laughs> look more like Yeah photo worthy and mm -hmm. also like more lively mm -hmm. The pool was wow, that one was really amazing, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, 100% uh, recommend, I would say it's like a 5 star for, mm. the, for, mm. for the pool. Because the pool, the infinity pool, you can actually really see the view. Yeah, like yeah. Outside. unobstructed. Yeah, unobstructed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you were to go, maybe like MBS, you, mm -hmm. you know very high floor, you mm -hmm. can't mm -hmm. really see yeah. the view. But this one you can see all the high rise mm -hmm. views uh, yeah, exactly. also. And it's not that the high rise are near to you, it's actually quite far yeah, away. Yeah, quite so far. there yeah. is still a privacy. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get to experience a lot of like local uh, culture and delicacies. Like right downstairs you have like bread, toast, uh, mm -hmm. Singaporean coffee, you have like chicken rice, you have like Mexican, Mexican food. food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you have, so like, many varieties. So much, uh, yeah exactly, so many varieties. And I guess that makes it very um, attractive because um, even like if you don't tra you don't need to travel like five to ten minutes to really experience Singapore in its elements. So mm. yeah, in terms of that, I think location is really quite fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I wish they had like local varieties as well. Oh yeah, like so, nasi lemak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess this breakfast is also provided by Florian, which is the restaurant that also mm. hits the Cloud Nine Bar, which we really enjoy our drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we did. Yeah, not our own drinks, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the drinks that they served us with. So yeah. yeah, it was a very nice experience. Very very apparent that the people who work here love the place that they work at mm. and I think that's a very big win for me mm. Jane, our, our <laughs> yeah. sunset, butler, sunset butler was very very professional uh, and also joy to have around to be honest she was so funny yeah. <laughs> taught, a lot, taught us a lot of like Gen Z poses and everything and I, I guess it really made the stay a lot mm. a lot more enjoyable and have yeah. like a human touch to it which uh, I guess is missing in a lot of hotels in the mm. sense that uh, you, you, you kind of don't feel an identity in the people in the hotel but right here, it's, it's yeah. very yeah, obvious, well. it stands out a lot. So Naomi Hotel that is... Hotel, hotel Luha approved! So if you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe and comment down below and tell us what um, other challenges you would like to see us mm -hmm. do and also other hotels that you would like to see us review. Remember to take part in the giveaway. 
Uh, sponsored by Schnecks. Schnecks. <laughs> so thank you, Schnecks. Yeah, thank you, Schnecks. Us. Like, like, comment, like, subscribe. comment subscribe. And yeah. we'll okay. see you next time. Yes. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.